This is Bosch's laser measurer. We're gonna open this tool up, have a look at it, have a look at everything it can do, and then we're gonna put it to the test and see how accurate this laser measurer is. All right, straight away, this looks like a good looking tool. We've got a clear display as a protector over the screen right now, and it gives us an insight of all the functions and everything you can do with this tool. We will have a look at that in a second. For now though, we will pull this off. The first thing I can say is that's a really good hold in the hand. I've used a few laser measurers and they're a bit small and they're a bit awkward to hold on to. This is a really nice size. It's a good feel in the hand. It's also got the seven buttons down here. And we'll have a look at what all these do because a lot of laser measures I have used only have the two buttons. So this also comes with the two batteries that we need for the tool to get started. These are double A batteries. And we've also got the certificate and a user manual. And I can tell you, we won't be reading that. So let's pop this open and let's put these batteries in. So we can see the first thing that comes up when I've turned it on is we can select the language we're gonna use. So I'm gonna go through, we are gonna select English and straight away, it looks like she's good to go. So it's really cool to see there. The first thing I'm noticing is that we do have a bit of a level and it shows us when the laser is actually sitting at a level plane. So we get that level there. You can see that goes green in the middle. And that means obviously now when I'm shining my laser line, it's gonna be more accurate than if I'm at a level. So off the bat, that's really cool to see. We'll get straight into these basic functions. Right now it's saying it's not measuring anything at all, but if I press this big green button at the front of the laser, that's gonna activate the green laser. And you can see it coming out from the edge of the tool there. Another thing we can look at is on the top left corner, it actually shows us which part of the tool it's measuring from. So that's pointed to the bottom now. So right now it's measuring from the back of the tool. So if I butt that up to a surface, it's getting the measurement from the back of the tool to wherever the laser hits. So if I press settings, we can go through, we've got a few settings, but reference level, is what I'm talking about there. We can change it from rear, which it's on at the moment, front, meaning that it's gonna get a measurement from the front of the tool, which I don't think you would use too often. It's very easy to butt the tool up into something. And the other one is tripod. We do have a thread in the back of the tool, so you can sit this on a tripod, and that setting would obviously be very helpful, and it's gonna get a measurement from exactly where it's sitting on that tripod. So now though, I think I'm always gonna use it as rear, so we're gonna set it back to rear. Also in settings, we've got a few things, such as audio signals, brightness, battery save mode, and the measurement unit. The first thing we wanna do though, is test out this tool at its most basic function. So right now, I've activated the laser, and we can see that shining on the wall directly behind me. What I do now is if I press that big main green button while the laser is pointed at something, that's gonna save a measurement. And as we can see there, we got 1.509. I can do this a few times. And I'm expecting these to be different every time because I am slightly changing where the laser is on the wall. And we can see if I bring that back, it's, sa it's saved all those measurements there. So one thing I'm definitely gonna test in this video is how accurate those measurements are that we get with the laser. Before we do that though, if we have another look through this tool, if I click the function button there, it's gonna show us everything it can do and it's pretty cool, it's got a lot of features. So right now we are playing around with length. If we go across, we've got continuous measurements so you can keep adding on a few different measurements and get the total length. We've got the area which obviously gets you two measurements and multiplies them together. We've got the volume which gets three separate measurements, uh, multiplies that together. And we've got indirect measurements too. So indirect measurement is actually pretty cool. I can think of a few features where that's gonna be handy, such as getting rafters. It's basically just got a good calculator built into it. But what the mode is saying is if I get a measurement to the wall straight behind me, then also a measurement straight up to the roof. It's important though that I keep the laser in the same spot, but if I get a measurement to the roof and to the wall, it's gonna give me that indirect measurement of that triangle going from the wall to the roof. So if I was building a roof, I could play around and get that length and the height of what my rafters are gonna be. And it will get me that measurement of what the rafters are gonna be. That's really cool. We've got a few other ones such as wall area. Um, that's basically just getting your area once again, but just getting multiple areas, adding them together. Uh, we've got the stake up mode, a level mode and internal memory. This internal memory is also gonna be pretty great. So if I click on that right now, I can go, th I can go through this internal memory and it's got all those measurements I was just getting earlier when I was shining this at the wall. Now, the reason that I think internal memory is so great is that the one job that I really want to use this tool for is when I'm doing a fix and cutting and skirting boards, especially your internal skirting boards that are going between a wall to a wall. And you can already figure out where I'm going with this right now. I can just run around, 
bat this into the plasterboard, shine a laser, and go through room after room, get all of my measurements, and just sit this up in the miter saw in front of me, and it's got all my measurements. I can cut all my skirting boards, flick through it. I haven't used a laser measurer before in a fix, but I've got a few coworkers that have, and they keep going on about how much time it saves. So it's gonna be a really helpful tool for fixes, and honestly, the stuff you can do with this is limitless. Now, another important thing I can think of is if you were quoting jobs or trying to order materials. If you're a floor tiler or doing floorboards, you can go through, quickly get the areas of a room. It takes two seconds to just quickly shine the laser and get two measurements of a room and you've got the area of the floorboard. Save you time having to throw out your tape and then also work it out afterwards too. Same thing goes to concrete. If you were ordering concrete for a square slab, you can work out the area just by using that volume mode but, and doing both of your widths by your depth and it's just gonna straight away work out that volume for you. There's a few cool things. The list is limitless on what you can use this for but the main thing I wanna test out is how accurate this is. We'll start pretty basic and then we'll just keep making our way up and testing measurements over a longer and longer distance. To start with, I'm just gonna butt into this plasterboard and into the side of the table and see how accurate it is. I wanna make sure I'm measuring off the same point. So I'm gonna go right to the edge of the plasterboard here. And I might even use these scissors here as a marker to see which point I'm measuring to. And with my tape, making sure that is quite level two. And with my tape, I've got 908 to the table. I'm gonna bite the laser up because obviously we're measuring to the back side of the laser. And I'm just gonna press that green button on. There we go, we've got it on. I'm checking that level as well. We're gonna make sure this laser is nice and level, which it is there. And I'm gonna press that button again and that's gonna grab that measurement. That's given us 910. So right now we've got a two mil difference between the tape and the laser. I'm gonna check, I'm gonna test it somewhere else first before we jump to conclusions because, because when I had the laser flat up against the surface, it is hitting back here in the wall and my tape measure was across slightly. And I can imagine we could get a different measurement if we did go on a slight angle. So I'm a little bit worried, but there definitely was stuff that could go wrong in that test. So let's try and measure somewhere else. All right, so I'm hoping this could be a bit more accurate. We just can go internal measurements between these two skirting boards. And with my tape, <laughs> I could not plan that we've actually got that exact same measurement. I'm gonna say this one's about 909. Between 908 and 909. All right, so let's see how the laser goes. We're gonna butter in to the exact same spot. I can see I'm pushing that hard up there. We've got the laser hitting the same spot the tape is measured to. And I'm just gonna hold this so it's hard up against the wall when I press that button and let's lock that in. All right, that is a lot better. We've got 908. So I'm pretty happy with that, but we do still wanna test this over a longer distance. So let's try to go the entire length of this hallway. Oh, I'm gonna start with this tape and we'll just leave it out set on the measurement. So we can see the tape is butted into that skirting board over there. And we've got it running this entire distance and we're gonna get the measurement for where it goes underneath that door. All right, the camera's measuring this on a slight angle. But I think that's about 6554, or maybe 6555. All right, we've got the laser out. I'm gonna butt that right in there above the tape measure. And I think this could be one of the biggest problems we might find with this laser. And that is trying to hold it still on a, on a target. So I'm holding the camera and doing this one hand. I feel like you almost want two hands on this because once I press that button down, the force is gonna move that laser and it might jump like we're seeing there onto the floorboards. Let's give it a shot though. I'm gonna lock in this measurement here. I'm gonna go and get three separate measurements. I think that one there may have hit the tile. I think that last one should be accurate. Let's have a look at what we have. So they're all actually within one mil. We've got 6559, 58 and 6560. So it's a bit hard to see exactly what that tape measures on. But if we use the back of the tool like that as a square, I'll open the door without that moving. And if we look in square and line with that laser measurer, we definitely were looking at 6555. So this has given us a measurement of a couple mil longer. And one reason why we may have got the extra three or four mil is our tape is butted down in the bottom of the skirting board here. But when I was, but when I was using the laser, it would be near impossible to hold it perfectly right in line at the bottom of that skirting board. It was hard enough hitting this overall size here. So when I was pressing the button, I was probably aiming for the center. I was probably pressing the button and that would push the laser up and we're getting measurements more up there. So increasing the angle of this laser would obviously give it a couple more mil. And I think that's what we got there. I actually think this laser is a very accurate, what should we say? It's within 1.5 millimeters of tolerance. 
That's definitely for smaller measurements, but they do reckon this can go all the way up to 50 meters. Now, I feel like I've read somewhere that up to 50 meters, it's within a three mil of tolerance. But on the back of the box here, it's just saying it can go up to 50 meters, and it's just giving us that 1.5 millimeter of tolerance. But from what we've seen from the few tests we just did then, and from what I've seen of the tools so far, this seems like it's a really good laser distance measurer.